Google just launched VO 3.1 and this is by far the best video generation model that exists right now. And if you wanna go viral on social media, this is the one that you need to be using because you can use it to make both clips and long format videos. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to access it, how to use it, and I'm gonna share with you a few crazy examples of people already using this. Here's what you're gonna notice when you try to use VO 3.1. If you come over to Google AI Studio, you come over into Generate Media, you click on VO and you come over here to the model, you're gonna notice that they only have VO2, so you're not able to access it here. But if you come over to Google Gemini, and then you click on video, you're also going to notice that they don't give you access here. The only way to access VO 3.1 right now is through a tool like NVIDIA, because if you come over to NVIDIA right here, you'll be able to click on agents and models, you'll be able to see generative models right here, and we could actually scroll through and see that they have both VO 3.1 and they have VO 3.1 fast. In addition to that, if you don't already have access to them, they also give you access to Sora 2 and Sora 2 Pro. So if you wanted to make a video with 3.1, here's what you do. You come over here, you click on new project, you're going to create the project. I'm going to name this right here, VO 3.1. We're going to click on create project. And then we're going to come down here to the model. We're going to come over to video clip. We're going to click on VO 3. Now you're going to notice there are two different ways in order to actually create content in here. In addition to that, you do have a few other options. You can come over here and choose how many videos it actually creates. You can come over here and choose what kind of video it creates, widescreen or for social media. And if you click right here, you're gonna be able to change whether or not it has sound enabled. And if you come into advanced options right here, you could add in a negative prompt if you wanted to, AKA things that you definitely don't want to happen inside of the actual video itself. Now, here's how this would work with the ingredients feature. Let's say that we have this photo with Steve Jobs right here, and then we have a photo of an iPhone 17. Now, obviously, Steve Jobs has been dead for a long time. We also have this prompt right here. He holds the orange phone in one hand, presenting it boldly to the camera as if unveiling the future, looking straight into the lens with a visionary confidence. He declares with passion and clarity, my ideas will eventually lead to this. His voice rises and falls with melody, slightly nasal, yet powerful, loud and emphatic, brimming with enthusiasm. And you guys get the point here. Now from here, watch what this actually generates because this right here really convinced me that this is the best video generation model I've ever seen. My ideas will eventually lead to this. And that is absolutely insane. I cannot believe how realistic it looks. I can't believe how good it is actually changing what he looks like. I mean, look at the original photo. He's looking off to the side. We have him looking straight on. Looks absolutely perfect. The iPhone looks perfect. His voice sounds great. His emotion sounds great. Everything about this video looks perfect. In fact, you wouldn't be able to know that this was AI generated. And now here's another example of this that's pretty fun. We have this model over here on the left, and as we can see, he's not holding a Coca-Cola in his hand, but then we also combine this with a photo of Coca-Cola with a pretty good prompt here, create a retro cinematic beach ad where an elderly man in a pink oversized t-shirt and orange sunglasses confidently holds a can of Coca-Cola, and then look at what this actually spits out. <laughs> That's crazy because in the past, you know how much money a brand like Coca-Cola would have paid for this? They probably would have paid tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars for this eight second shot. But now you could make this with VO 3.1 pretty much in seconds. But again, that's not the only way that you can use it because you can also use start frame and end frame. So if we come over here and give a start frame of this bathroom that doesn't look good, and then we give an end frame of this bathroom that looks amazing with a prompt like this, create a smooth photorealistic morph transition where an old cracked bathroom seamlessly transforms into a bright modern renovation. And then this goes through and actually builds this out. And by the way, as you can see right here, we could get pretty in depth with what the prompt actually looks like. We literally give the style of how it should look and what kind of camera and lens it looks like it should be shot through. And that is insane. It's so cool how that just transformed from this old decrepit looking bathroom to something that is completely reimagined to something else. In fact, I want you to think about using this for a construction ad. If you were a construction company and you were going to do something like taking somebody's old bathroom and imagining it new with AI, imagine how much better you'd be able to sell things if you sent people videos like this or even ads like this. 
Or another pretty amazing feature of this is you can come over here and you can take something like a baby chick that is hatching and an end frame, then being an eagle, and then over here we could say create a cinematic transformation where a newborn chick in a straw nest evolves into a soaring eagle. Look at this. This bird is literally transforming before our eyes into an eagle, which is insane. And it doesn't stop there either, because another thing that we could do is just give it a prompt right here. For example, an eight second cinematic sequence unfolds on a blazing desert highway, thick with heat, haze, and dust, inside a rattling armored car muscle, with a rugged man gripping the wheel, sun flickering across his cracked goggles as the engine growls, etc., etc. Now what I wanna show you here is how good this goes through and actually creates character consistency and how good the physical looks. Because if you've seen other programs, they don't do that great of a job at actually doing it. And look at how quickly this actually goes through, generates a video. It is so fast compared to most of the other video models, especially considering that this is the highest quality out of any of them. And now that this is actually done, let's check this out and see how crazy this looks. <laughs> I can't believe how good this actually was with character consistency and all of that because again it gets him out of the car perfectly the car moves perfectly everything that we asked for in the prompt looks perfect here i want you to think that this is only for creating short form clips because you can also create long form content with this for example you could come over here and type in a prompt like this using the vo 3.1 model only create a two minute cinematic short film that tells the emotional story of bigfoot's exile from society showing how fear and misunderstanding turned him into a lonely legend. Now, in addition to that, I went through what this video should actually look like, what the narration should look like, what the tone should be, what the visual style should be. And then from here, we just click on generate video. This is gonna ask us to clarify a few different questions. And then this goes off and makes a full length video using only VO 3.1. And by the way, this is the only way that you can create long form content like this seamlessly. Okay, so here's what that selector looks like. We're gonna say two minutes right here. The platform is gonna be for YouTube and we could decide between VO 3.1 fast or just regular VO 3.1. I'm gonna use regular VO 3.1 for this. I'm gonna click on generate and then this is gonna go through and make a long form video. Okay, so now that this is actually done, let's check out what this looks like. We're gonna put this on full screen here and then let's play it. In the deepest corners of our ancient forests, where morning mist clings to towering pines and civilization feels like a distant memory, this is the story of how fear transformed curiosity into exile and how the very thing that made him most human. As you can see, that's pretty insane. It's super high quality. The voiceover is great. All of this is good. Now, before I show you a few of those examples, how people are already using this in order to grow pages like crazy, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below right now and get started with a video today for free. But if you're serious about creating content, then I'd strongly recommend that you get their generative plan that starts at $100 a month. Because this is the one that's gonna give you the most amount of credits and it's gonna give you access to the latest and greatest models like Sora 2 and VO 3.1. Now example number one of how people are actually making stuff like this go viral is this page right here. You could scroll through this page, almost every single one of their posts has gone viral and essentially what they do is create just crazy content and crazy scenarios like this person with an alligator in their pool or this person feeding an alligator. This person walking an alligator. If you come over here, we could see that a bear is stealing somebody's Halloween candy. We could see that something crazy is going on at the gym here. We have something happening here with a dog. Again, we have just crazy scenarios going on here and they've literally gained over 100,000 followers in a really short period of time, but they're not alone. If we come over here and look at a channel like this, they have gone viral almost every single post that they've posted on YouTube because what they're doing is basically taking really famous music and they're making different versions of it. For example, Chris Brown forever, but 1950s soul version or Eminem without me, the 1950s soul version. And there are so many different YouTube channels like this popping up all over the place. And if we come over here to the YouTube stats, we could see that they've gained 4.9 million views 
literally in just the last seven days. Now, this doesn't show any monthly earnings yet because this channel literally just got started, but I'm telling you, opportunities like this are massive and all you have to do is to capitalize on them. And then in addition to that, if we come over here and look at this channel, I want you to look at this. If we come into channel stats, this channel is earning anywhere from 24 to $73,000 a month. They've gotten 6 million views in the last seven days. In fact, this is one of the fastest growing channels on YouTube right now. And if we come over here into view channel stats, I can literally prove that to you. We could see that this channel literally just started in, I believe it was somewhere around August, and already they're monetized, over 300,000 subscribers. And if we look at this content, it is literally all AI generated because they're finding niches that people are interested in. They're using things like Sora 2 and VO 3.1 in order to string together these really long videos. And this is content that there's a massive audience for all across the world that nobody has ever been able to create before. And what you need to make sure you do is hop on opportunities like this. I'm sure that you missed out on so many opportunities over the last six years. If you're watching this video right now, I'm telling you, you are incredibly early on this opportunity so please take advantage of this AI video movement. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through seven other AI tools that I personally can't live without. I'll see you over there.